part, je ne souhaite qu'aucun sang ne soit versé pour mon maintien aux affaires. August 19, 2020, his grip on power slipping away, Ibrahim Boubacar Kaïta renounces the Malian presidency after facing first mass street protests, then a military coup. The man, best known by his initials, IBK, rose to prominence under the country's first democratically elected president, Alpha Umar Konare. As socialist prime minister from 1994 to 2000, IBK broke a series of labor strikes, earning a reputation for tough leadership as he eyed the country's top job. After losing two bids for the presidency to opponent Amadou Toumani Touré, IBK finally prevailed in 2013. Five years later, he won re-election against Soumaïla Sissé. A one-time foreign affairs minister, Keita was keen to cultivate relationships beyond the Malian border, particularly with France, where he once studied literature. In 2013, he leaned on his personal relationship with French President François Hollande in the ongoing fight against a growing jihadist movement in northern Mali. That French military aid would soon expand across the Sahel region of northern Africa as Operation Barkhan. IBK would become a crucial ally for Paris in North Africa despite a tense relationship with Emmanuel Macron. But a floundering economy, allegations of corruption and ongoing security concerns sparked a protest movement that ended in 2020 with his arrest amid a military coup. He suffered a stroke soon after, retreating from the public eye as he sought medical treatment both in Mali and abroad. Bakar Kaita died at his home in Bamako on Sunday at the age of 76.